From the fiery depths of molten lava to towering peaks of ashen rock, volcanoes are some of the most awe-inspiring natural phenomena on Earth. In this video, we'll take an in-depth look at these incredible geological structures, exploring what they are, how they form, and the different types that exist. Stick until the end to also discover some of the biggest eruptions in recent times, including the biggest volcano eruption in human history. A volcano is a geological structure that consists of a vent or multiple vents, through which molten rock, ash, and gases erupt from the Earth's interior. Volcanoes can be triggered by a variety of factors, including pressure and temperature changes in the magma chamber beneath the surface. When these conditions are met, magma can erupt in a variety of ways, including lava flows, ash clouds, and pyroclastic flows. For example, the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980 involved a massive explosion that sent a plume of ash and gas more than 12 miles into the atmosphere, along with a massive lava flow that covered an area of more than 150 square miles. The majority of volcanoes on Earth are found along tectonic plate boundaries, where the massive slabs of the Earth's lithosphere are colliding and interacting with each other. When two tectonic plates collide, one of them is pushed beneath the other into a subduction zone, where high pressure and temperature can release water from the rocks and form magma. This magma can then rise to the surface and erupt through a volcano. Another way that volcanoes can form is through hotspot volcanism, which occurs when a zone of hot magma, or a hotspot, exists within a tectonic plate and exerts enough pressure to push up through the crust and form a volcano. One example of a hotspot volcano is Kilauea on the island of Hawaii, which has been erupting continuously since 1983. There are three main types of volcanoes, cinder cones, composite volcanoes, and shield volcanoes, which are distinguished by their sizes, shapes, and eruption styles. Cinder cones are the simplest type of volcano, with a bull-shaped crater marking the location of the central vent. They are formed by the eruption of small, solid lava fragments, or cinders, which are ejected from the central vent and accumulate around it to form a wide cone-shaped structure. Cinder cone volcanoes can be found in many volcanic regions, including Western North America. Composite volcanoes, also known as stratovolcanoes, are the tallest type of volcano, reaching heights of up to 22,615 feet above sea level. They are formed by the repeated layering of lava, ash, and cinders, which gives them a steep conical shape. Some of the most famous composite volcanoes in the world include Mount Shasta in California, Mount St. Helens in Washington, and Mount Fuji in Japan. Shield volcanoes are characterized by the eruption of fluid lava that flows in all directions from the central vent or multiple vents. These volcanoes are built up slowly over time by the growth of thousands of thin lava flows, which give them a low, broad shape that resembles a shield. Some of the world's largest volcanoes are shield volcanoes, including Mauna Loa on the island of Hawaii. Many of the world's active volcanoes are concentrated in a region known as the Ring of Fire, a 25,000-mile-long zone that encircles the Pacific Ocean. This region is home to approximately 75% of all active volcanoes on Earth and is characterized by frequent tectonic activity and a high number of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. However, volcanoes can also be found in other parts of the world, including the Caribbean, Europe, Africa, and Antarctica. For example, the Caribbean is home to the Lesser Antilles Volcanic Arc, which includes the active Soufriere Hills volcano on the island of Montserrat. In Europe, the Mediterranean region is known for its many volcanoes, including Mount Etna and Mount Vesuvius in Italy, which famously erupted and buried the Roman cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. The largest known volcano eruption in history occurred at the Toba Supervolcano in Indonesia around 74,000 years ago. This eruption was so powerful that it is estimated to have released more than 800 cubic kilometers of ash and rock into the atmosphere, along with a massive lava flow that covered an area of more than 2,800 square kilometers. The Toba eruption had a profound impact on the global climate with ash and debris being blasted into the upper atmosphere and spreading around the world. 
This event is thought to have caused a volcanic winter that lasted for several years and severely impacted global temperatures and precipitation levels. Other significant volcanic eruptions throughout history include the eruption of Tambor in Indonesia in 1815, which is considered the largest eruption of the 19th century, and the eruption of Krakatoa in Indonesia in 1883, which generated a massive tsunami and was heard more than 3,000 miles away.